most of my work, uh, when I started this uh, project called On the Road, A Search for American Character with my tape recorder, I thought that I was going to go around America and find it in all its aspects, bull riders, cowboys, pig farmers, uh, uh, drum majorettes, but I sort of got tripped on um, race relations because my first big show was a show about a race riot. Um, and so I, I went to both two race riots. One of them was the Los Angeles riot. And this next piece is from that because this is what I would say I've learned uh, the most about race relations relations from this piece. Um, it's a kind of an aria, I would say, in the many tapes that I have. Um, everybody knows that the Los Angeles riots happened before, because uh, four cops beat up a black man, man named Rodney King, was captured on videotape technology. It was played all over the world. Everybody thought the four cops would go to jail. They did not, so there were riots. Uh, and uh, what a lot of people forget is there was a second trial ordered by George Bush Sr. And uh, that trial came back with two, uh, two cops going to jail and two ch cops declared innocent. I was at that trial. And I mean, the, the people just danced in the streets because they were afraid it was going to be another riot. This explosion of joy that this verdict had come back this way. So there was a community that didn't, the Korean Americans, um, whose stores had been burned to the ground. And so this woman, Mrs. Young Sun Han, I suppose, would, will have taught me the most that I have learned about race. And she asks also a question uh, that Studs talks about, this notion of the official truth, to so question the official truth. So what she's questioning here, she's taking a chance and questioning what justice is in society. And this is called uh, Swallowing the Bitterness. I used to believe America was the best. I, I watched in Korea many luxurious uh, Hollywood uh, lifestyle movie. I, I never saw any poor man, any black. Until 1992, I used to believe America was the best. I still do. I don't deny that because I am a victim. But at the end of 92, when we were in such turmoil and having all the financial problems and all the mental problems, I began to really realize that Koreans are completely left out of this society and we are nothing. Why? Why do we have to be left out? We didn't qualify for medical treatment, no food stamp, no GR, no welfare, anything. Many African Americans who never work got minimum amount of money to survive. We didn't get any because we have a car and a house and we are high tax payer. Where do I find the justice? Okay. 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 Many African Americans probably think they won by the trial. I was sitting here watching them the morning after the verdict and all the day. They were having a party. They said everything. All of South Central. All the churches. And they said, well, finally justice has been done in this society. Well, what about victims' rights? They got their rights by destroying innocent Korean merchants. They have a lot of respect, as I do, for Dr. Martin King. He is the only model for black community. I don't care, just Jackson. <laughs> he is the model of nonviolence, nonviolence. And they were all right to be in his spirit. But what about 1992? They destroyed innocent people. And I wonder if that is really justice for them to get their rights in that way. I was uh, swallowing the bitterness, sitting here alone and watching them. They became so hilarious. But uh, I was happy for them. I was glad for them. At least uh, they got something back, okay. Let's just forget about Korean victims and other victims who were destroyed by them. They fought 
for their rights for over two centuries and maybe because they sacrifice other minorities, Hispanic, Asian, we would suffer more in the mainstream. That's why I understand. That's why I have a mixed feeling about the verdict. But I wish that, uh, I wish that, uh, I wish that I could be part of the enjoyment. <laughs> I wish that I could live together with black people. But after the riot is, uh, is too much difference. <laughs> the fire is still there. How do you say it? Dashi uh, Sukichina? Ignite, eh? igniting, igniting, igniting fire, igniting fire is still there. It can uh, burst out any time. Mrs. Young Sun Han, 